X-Men Evolution on Angel's Wings isn't a bad holiday special. It's just that the whole X-Men Evolution show is a piece of shit in general. Let's look at the track record for the word evolution, shall we? There's Underworld Evolution. Well, we're going to have to work on that. There's that horrible video game, Tron Evolution. The movie with David Duchovny Evolution and that god-awful Dragon Ball Evolution. So take a step back and notice that attaching the tagline evolution at the beginning of anything is shit. So here's my review of X-Men Evolution as a whole series. It's shit. Now that we got that out of the way, when I was growing up, Angel was one of my favorite characters behind Gambit. Think about it, how cool would it be to have wings? X-Men Evolution does a good job at reintroducing Angel, unlike that horrible X-Men Last Stand piece of shit that made Angel nothing but a big wasted cameo. But at the beginning of the show, we are introduced to Angel as he saves a young girl's mother from a burning building. This was awesome. It left a little mystique to the character. So after the credits, you're left more curious about Angel than any of the other X-Men. So as we open up at the Xavier Institute, we get a horny oh, nightcrawler who seems kids. to be going around trying to steal some kisses. Hurt, <laughs> and then there's Rogue who pretty much gives Cyclops an opportunity to strap a full body condom on and have sex with her. It's sure gonna be lonely around here when all these guys leave tomorrow. Yeah, really. But it could be fun, you know? Just us, the prof, Mr. McCoy. This show has always managed to make me really pissed off when it came to Rogue. They always tried to portray her as the whore who couldn't touch no one. Don't worry about it. But anyways, back to Angel who kicks ass. Angel makes an appearance all over the place as he stops a thief from stealing a man's briefcase. It's him! I told you! These scenes are pretty cool because you've got Magneto hiding in the shadows watching him. So back at the mansion, the Professor, the Beast, the One-Eyed Jock, and the Whore are all sitting around. Well, they're just sitting around. The Professor then sends him out to find Angel. While searching around and finding nothing, it cuts to a bridge scene where that douchebag Magneto is there causing a bunch of people to wreck and shit. So it's up to Angel to fly around saving everyone in his new costume. Then Magneto causes Angel to slip, knocking a girl into water. What a fucking asshole. That's not all. He then comes out of the shadows and turns everybody against the Angel by saying he caused the girl to fall. It's his fault. He knocked the girl into the river. I saw him. Yeah, I did too. This guy's no Angel. He's just some kind of freak. Here's what was confusing me. Magneto is spending his holidays trying to recruit Angel, but how is Angel any different than any other mutant? I'm sure there's tons of other mutants out there that who are by far more powerful than a dude that just flies around with wings. I mean, seriously, he's just wasting his holiday season this year. The only explanation I can think of is that maybe he knows that Angel is Warren Worthington III and he can manage to get him to join the Brotherhood because he knows he's rich or something. And he could fund a bunch of fucking pointless shit that Magneto needs. So back at the same church that was used for the final battle from Ben Affleck's Daredevil, Magneto's pissed off that Angel doesn't want to join him, and here comes one eye and the old whore to help save him. This is the part of the story where the whore and Magneto pretty much ruin a lot of people's Christmas by fucking up their apartments. First Magneto rips some people's heaters right off the fucking roof, then Rogue does even worse than that by taking those same heaters and throwing them right through their fucking apartment window. I mean, no wonder people hate mutants. No one can ever get along and it always causes people shit to get broke. Oh, and that's not all. It looks like the people who work at SE won't be getting that Christmas bonus this year because they have to pay for repairs on a building that was fucking destroyed because the whore and Magneto decided they were going to have an argument. The final scenes of this piece of shit shows old One-Eye trying to get Angel to join the X-Men. No, it's not like that at all. And he's all like, fuck it. I'm more worried about the little girl recovering. Haley's away. <laughs> She's gonna be alright. You can see her. So why didn't the whore and one eye give a shit about the little girl? All they cared about was trying to recruit someone to the X-Men. Someone should go to the city. Perhaps we could recruit him. Yeah, we could go. I mean, you know, Scott and I. 
I'm going nuts just sitting around here. All in all, it's a great introduction for Angel, but it's a pretty shitty holiday special. Well, that about sums it up. While the X-Men are having a wonderful Christmas, all those people who are suffering from property damage are fucked. Mmm, this hits the spot. My hands are freezing. I know, but at least we got out of the Institute. Hey, let's do something fun while we're here. What do you say? Okay, sure. What did you have in mind? Yes. <laughs> okay, that'll do for starters. Do you think... I, I mean, is it possible that... Come on, you don't think... You do. Oh, wow. Wow. Um, Scott, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... Yeah, you're right. Yeah, thing isn't exactly my idea of fun, but I think the chances are pretty slim. I just couldn't deal with it, you know?